Jeez. You want to know what I did to, for a girl this year? What that you I was do? interested in. What you do? I wrote a poem. I probably would have stopped talking to you that same day. I would have. You would have lost me at the moment. What? You would have so lost me. How would I? That would have turned me off. That's just me though. She probably was like, "Oh my god." That's she so did funny. like it, but why would a poem turn? Like, what type of that's dudes like, are you? Like, that's like too, criminals. Like, <laughs> you I, like... I do like criminals for sure, but that's just one type of guy that I like. I like. Oh god, I like. You know. You like gamers? <sighs> no, corny. What's wrong with it? We're gonna get back to that. I don't. Why do you like? We're gonna get back to that. <laughs> why do you? You like... asked me for my. <laughs> I did, but why? Why? So, what attracts you to criminals? It's not even what attracts me to them. It's more like the mindset. It be the personality. Like they be like real, real rough but soft. You know. Well, that's the experience I've gotten. I like a little rough but very soft. So a you, little rough but very soft. So you like so you like a guy that that you that intimidates you a little bit, but you know he's not gonna do nothing. Uh, yes. Or or you like or you like a little choker every now and then. I mean that's cool too. I just you know. I don't know what I like. Man, this is just sad to hear. It's always something new every single day. This woman just literally said she likes criminals, but then she goes to say that gamers are corny. So you tell me you like a guy that get in trouble, that commits crimes, that's violent, that goes to jail, that goes to prison, and that's the type of guy you like? And nine times out of 10, these women that are attracted to these criminals these guys that sell drugs, that's committing violent crimes, they not going to hold them down. These men be looking at 15 years or more in prison. And these same women that say they into these type of men, they going to be quick to leave that man. They going to be quick to give up on that man. So why would you be attracted to these type of men that you know are living this type of lifestyle? You got to understand that in the time that we're in, you have gamers making six figures. Let's look at Kai Sinet, I Show Speed. These young dudes, barely in their 20s, and they making six figures just by playing video games. And you telling me that's corny? They not doing nothing negative. Everything they doing is positivity. Go on stream on Twitch, make money from that. Upload your clips to YouTube, make money from that. Even stream on YouTube make money from that these men that are gamers don't have to do nothing violent they can sit right in a house and make a bag and they don't have to look over their shoulder or worry about having enemies looking for them because they're doing something positive when you're dealing with criminals these guys have enemies these guys have to do certain things to keep their name alive and why would you want a man like that a man that's gonna risk his life just to prove that he about that life ain't nothing positive about that you got men in jail cells right now wishing they chose a different route because being a criminal is not nothing to glorify and that's what i try to push in my content that there's other routes you can take to be successful in life you don't have to prove yourself it's one thing to protect yourself and it's another thing to get into the streets just to set yourself up for failure you sitting in jail, letting time go by. Instead of doing that lick or instead of busting at the ops, you could have started a business. You could have got your passport from that business being successful. And you could have went out of the country and seen something you ain't never seen. That's what it's about in life. Doing positive things. Living a long lasting life. The goal is to stay out of the streets, not stay in the streets. That's why I try to push this positive message to the young generation, especially the young generation of men that's in the streets or thinking about getting in the streets, that's not the route you should take. I'm glad that I made the decision at a young age that I didn't want to hang around certain individuals that was in the streets. I chose the other route. I'm still working to get in the position to go out of the country and see stuff I ain't never seen. I'm heading in the right direction and it's all about your mindset. If you had a mindset of, I'm about to prove myself, I'm about that life. Five seconds could change your life. Stop glorifying being a criminal. I don't get why these women try to make it seem like criminals are positive role models. Being in a gang, being a drug dealer, robbing people, it's not nothing positive. And that's why I respect those guys that was in the streets before, those guys that used to be in gangs, and they changed their life. 
because it's more to life than harming people, than trying to prove yourself, than being on the block, staying in your city or staying in your state and never leaving the state because this is all you know. But it's more to life than that. I'm going to continue saying that. Stop hanging around people that are in the streets. It's nothing positive in the streets. When people go in the streets, it's a high probability that you could get yourself into some trouble. But the so-called gamer that she called corny, they don't have to risk getting in trouble because they playing video games. They don't got to look over their shoulder. They don't got to be on the block at a certain time. They don't have to do none of that. They making six figures inside the house playing video games. Now tell me how is that corny? You know what you could do with that money from playing video games? You can buy some land. You can start businesses. Now tell me how that's corny. Stop putting criminals on a pedestal, man. And I hope the people that's doing these crimes wake up and realize that you doing these crimes could put you in jail, could put you in prison for the rest of your life, or even put you in a grave sooner than what you thought you would be. So these type of women, they need to fix their logic. This logic is very backwards, but I understand this is this woman's preference, but I'm always going to push the positive message out there because there's always a, another route. I let these type of women be attracted to the criminals. See, I'm the kind of guy that gets called a nerd or preppy or whatever, but guess what? I call it being smart. I value my life. I don't got to prove that I'm tough. I don't got to prove that I'm hard, that I'm about that life because I know what comes with that. It's not about being tough in life. It's not about being hard in life. It's about being smart. If you value your life, you're not going to get yourself in certain situations that's going to detriment your life, that's going to put a hold on your life, that's going to end your life sooner than what it should have been. So, hey, let the gamers be corny. At least they staying out of trouble. At least they don't have to worry about doing nothing violent. But we're going to jump into some comments and see what people have to say about this video. First comment. When she heals, it won't be like that anymore. It just goes to show you how desensitized everyone has become to danger, crime, sin, all of it. Exactly. It's like people glorify being a criminal. Glorify doing illegal stuff. Glorify committing violent acts. And I don't see nothing positive out of that. That's what it comes down to. Doing a positive thing. Making a positive decision. But these young people coming up, they're going down the wrong path. And it don't help when you have older people that's pushing this lifestyle on the younger people. You can't call yourself a role model if you you showing the young people the wrong direction in life. If you're not pushing them in a positive direction, you giving them the wrong information. You setting them up for failure. Next comment. Women like her love dangerous men until they turn on them. Exactly. All right, let's say you're dealing with a criminal. What if he puts his hands on you? What if he harms you? And you still like the criminals? You got to understand that criminals are the tough guys. Criminals have no filter. A lot of criminals, I'm sure. So, you got to understand. It's not going to be roses and balloons. <laughs> it's going to probably be dead roses when you messing with criminals. I'm not saying all criminals have a bad personality. But if you a criminal... What's in the word criminal? Crime. So you got to understand what comes with those type of men. Next comment. Yikes. Yeah, yikes. I don't understand how these women are attracted to men that commit crimes. They not doing nothing positive. How could you sit up there and call gamers corny, but you put these criminals on a pedestal? Just make that make sense. It don't make sense at all. Just because the gamer ain't beating up somebody in real life. Just because the gamer ain't waving his gun online. Just because the gamer ain't pulling up on his ops. Just because the gamer isn't robbing banks. It's sad, man. These women need to get a reset in their mind. They have this mentality. 
Because how? How could you call a gamer corny? How? So let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Do y'all think this woman's logic is off by saying she's into criminals and calling gamers corny? Or do y'all think this woman logic is on point that gamers are corny and criminals are top tier? But that's all I got for you guys. And make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I'm going. Peace.